Hey, welcome back to Pete Plays. Here we're playing Chained Echoes. It's uh, it's Monday morning. Uh, Jazz is sitting in the window. Well, she's not sitting in the window. She is uh, vigilant in the window. <laughs> I think she's looking for everything. Uh, she's she's ready to uh, sneak around the battleship Aurora with us, I suppose. Um, she's a pretty good sneaker. She's really good at sneaking. Oh, I have like a fun. Sometimes before I roll the intro, I have like a blah, 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 and then the intro rolls. I don't have anything like that. I'm way too tired. <laughs> So, do we have a map? Oh, we do have a map. We have a map, we have a malfunctioning controller. Um, oh man, this is like something straight out of Chrono Trigger. Nagamaki, ooh. Interesting, a curved sword from the south. Interesting. So my attack is up three, but my hit points are down, and I don't have uh, the whatever I have in. I wish there was an easy way to check that. Is there? Oh. Aha! Raises hit points by 10%. Oh, that's what it is. That's all it does. Meh. Let's 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 try it out. That could come in handy. And uh, remember, Sienna's a vampire. And oh, oh, I didn't make anybody. The uh... oh yeah, I did. Oh, it's because Lenny's not here. Well, Stinkwinkle. Um. Maybe I'll change Glenn to be the monk. Okay, so I should change my formation then. Because uh, I don't want Bethraz. Mm, I don't really want Rob up there either. Okay, let's swap Killian and Rob. And... Sienna and Bethraz, but then we'll put Bethraz in that spot with fit. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Actually... Put him there. Okay, this this feels like the right. The battle between Terran and Iskania is about to start. Our heroes are trying to steal the Grand Grimoire from the battlefield. Okay. Well, at least I've got a map back and I can see where things are. Hope I don't run into any bad guys. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Dude, I like this tune. Too bad I can't just find things on the ground. Like in the wilderness. Ooh, hey. Oh, I can find meals in chests, though. It's nice of someone to put that there. Okay. Well, here I go into the hallways. Nope, that's not a thing. Oop. It autosaved. Which floor do you want to go to? Stay here. I want to explore... N oh! Well, never mind. Why is Bethraz asking me this? Um, 
I guess we'll go to U3, because maybe that means we're on U2. Ha 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 ha. Get it? I don't get it. Oh, you... Well, maybe that... Maybe that means we were on U5? Oh, no! Well... Yeah, let's just start out. They're going to be all physical boys. So let's make them all miss on their first turn. And then we will uh, debuff them real bad. Oh, you know what? Well, that's fine. It means I just got to work harder to get back up into... Uh, uh, Bronjo Town. Overdrive. That's what it's called. <laughs> you missed. You missed. You still missed, but... Oh, she staggered. Which means I gotta swap her out. Uh, let's go... Shielding Mazurka. Shielding Mazurka, Shielding Mazurka, who'll go Shielding Mazurka with me? <laughs> I mean, that was a bit of a waste, but... Haha! -ha! Mazurka, successful! Oh, that's their weakness. Okay. I'll use the summit attack. Wow, that was pretty pretty strong. Uh Okay. Yes. Let's go. Um, ooh, raises agility by a quarter. Holy moly. Holy moly. Got him. Yo, handled. Let's go. That was so good. I did a great job. Go me. Oh. Okay. Well, I did a great job, and... I thought I had become stronger these past few years. But look at me now. I'm not even strong enough to break out of a giant metal cell. Locked up like a common thief. And worst of all, unable to save my friends. Hmm. Huh. They trusted me and threw down their weapons. And how am I repaying them? By signing their death warrant. I am still too weak. No, nah, girl, that's not the way to think about it. If only I had more power. Princess! I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. I'm here with Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi? What are you all doing here? Kidnapping princesses. Whoa. <laughs> Kidnapping princesses is a quirk that is very difficult to get rid of. Come with us, Lenny. We're going to steal the grimoire. You're heading for the stone? Speak no more. I shall join you. Just be aware that the blood of Terran soldiers will be shed again. Boy, I'm having trouble this morning. The blood of Terran's soldiers will be shed again. The skeleton was denied a bank loan. The human skeleton... I know. The situation has changed. My brother is about to use the Grand Grimoire. We need to stop it on behalf of the people of Valandis. We fight for every citizen of this land. Anyone who stands between us and the Grimoire can no longer be considered a fellow country men. He is an enemy of Valandis. Very good, but now quickly. I am ashamed that I have to be saved like a damsel in distress. No, it, that's not... But now is not the time to whine. I don't... No, don't... Girl, it, it's not like that. Um, man, I sure would like to have Lenny in there because having some magic attacks against physical boys is going to be helpful. Hi, sweetie girl. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. You want to come up here? 
You come up here? Come on, bud. Yeah, there's a good girl. It's my best, best friend. Well, not my best. I mean, she's my best, best canine friend. We gotta... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna switch... Bethraz into the empty slot. We're gonna put Lenny into this empty slot. I wish... Uh, what, what do you, can you pick a, okay. <laughs> I, I think she realized I wasn't going to give her the attention she craved, and now she's in her bed, pouting like a sweetie McSweeby. I think this is what I want. That feels like the right. Oh, you know what? I can upgrade. No, I can't. I can't do it. Wait, isn't isn't the silver sword better than the copus? It is. What am I doing? Bum ba ba da bum bum. Um. Oh, the flat bow's better. But it doesn't have all the cool stuff. No, I'm going to leave it. We've got any armor. Hi, bud. She wants me to play with her so bad right now. <laughs> oh, man. No property yet. Can I upgrade it? Let me, let me upgrade it. No, not weapons. Armor. Zazu, zu, zu. I cannot. I do not have enough jute fibers. Oh. Um. Raise stats at the start of battle for every free equip slot. Nah. Uh, an oil strike. Sleep extender, undead killer. I like that. Come here. <laughs> okay. I think that's what we got right now. Oh! You might ask what a merchant's doing on a ship bound for the battlefield. It's not like I've been following your group for the past few days. And it's not like your expense alone keep me and my family alive. I just have a bad sense of direction. Anyway, need something? Thanks, weird dude. Let's check out my deals. My, 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 my deals. My deals. Stinky powder. No new deals unlocked. Come here, bud. Ugh. Oh. Well. Oh, I don't have any sweets. Mm. That's ugh, that's probably a good. Age. Oh, cures paralyzed. Interesting. Got a bunch of those. Okay. I think we're okay. It's okay. Why? She drops it at my feet. That's the Bobo Jr. She drops it at my feet and she's like, oh, please throw this for me. And then she don't, she grabs it when I, when I pick it up. Those are rooms. Nothing there. Okay. Oh, boom, 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 boom. oh dear! Come here. Come here. Ha 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 ha! There we go. Um. Let's go oil, cause then we can fire jump here and do some do some good damage. Um. So we're gonna take some damage here, but I think we're okay. Oh, that guy got oiled. Yeah, counterattack, baby! 
Yo, double counterattack! That whipped. <laughs> um, shield me, Mazurka. Nice. Get rid of this guy. Nope, didn't get rid of this guy. But. Now he's gone. Boom. Yes. Um. Suppose I'll arm. You know what? I should have arms braked him. Yeah, that's why. It's not. It's not gonna matter too much, but. Bye bye. Got him. Handled, baby. Okay. So this is where I came from, this way over here. Aha, so I must have started on U5. So let me go to U4, because that must be U3. Wait, does it say on the map? Oh, interesting. That's helpful. Are you part of the crew? I've never seen you before. Wow, you guys are bad at your job. <laughs> I've only needed for takeoff and landing, so I'm just taking it easy here. I should be excited before battle, but Prince Frederick has assured us there'll be no fight. Oops. There'll be no fighting. The Grand Grimoire will do the job for us. Oh. I could almost feel sorry for Ascadia's troops. They don't realize it yet, but they're about to be pulverized from one moment to the next. Ooh, sweets. Hi guys, can I have some, can I have this big mace right here? That rules. <laughs> oh, who are you? Do you want to know why this airship's called Aurora? Yes, I'm very interested. Prince Frederick named it when he visited the Aurora sister ship in the Arms Reich. You know, military airships are often painted light blue on their underside to make them harder to see from the ground. For most airships, that makes sense. But not for the Aurora. The ship is a huge block in the sky. You can paint it any way you want, but you're still going to notice it. Prince Frederick was amused by this and said that this wide blue surface shines like a northern light in the sky. Hence the name Aurora. Thanks for the history lesson, Jiminy McBingo. Crew member on the Aurora. Oh, hey there, bearded man. The Iskandu fleet will beat us at the border between Cortara and Roland Fields. Okay. It's like crew quarters. Quite lavish. Sweets! Somebody's hiding sweets on the bookshelf. I've never seen an airship bef like this before. Look around you, everything is made of stone and metal. I wonder how many engines are needed to hold the weight of this ship in the sky. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go to U5. Oh boy, Jazz is losing her mind right now. <laughs> Okay, there was some stuff. Oh, that's where I want to go. But first... Yeah, I thought there was something over here. Winged cape! It's probably a speed thing. Um... Titan Helm, Life Thread. Okay, so everybody's got... What does this do? It helps put my agility up. What does a winged cape do? It keeps my agility up even more. 
Whee! Okay. Good, good, good. Good. Now I'm just gonna loot their tiny chests. All day. Oh no! Yes! Yo, Killian is a boss right now. I always think of him... I don't remember if I've said this. Uh, he reminds me of Dunban in Xenoblade Chronicles. Giving up the sword already, Glenn! <laughs> um, yeah, let's do this thing. And you should stop! That's, I'm just going to do that every time now. That's, that's her move. It's her thing. <laughs> Bonk. Cool. Handled. Let's go. Bubba da bum bum bum. Up. Oh. Here's some more. Ow! Ow! Please stop that! Um. Shield me, Mazurka. Yikes, leave her alone. Leave Brittany alone. Junk. Hi, bud. You want to come back up here? Hi. Come here. <laughs> Bonk. Leave. Stop it. Ugh. So lame. Um. Oh, oh. Okay, well, you're a stinky baby. She made a tiny toot. Tiny doggy toot. Bonk. Um, awaken spirit. Yeah, I wish Glenn had like an all attack, but he does not. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Come on! Leave her alone. There we go. You jerk! TP saved! Yes! Yo, that took care of all of them. That was baller, Killian. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, what's down there? Huh. How do I get there? Oh, do I have to go? Maybe I missed it. Maybe I have to go the other way. Why are you always licking me, sweet? Sweet doge. Yeah, what the deuce? Oh, sweetie girl just curled up in my lap again. What a precious baby. Um. Yeah, how do I get down there? Maybe I have to... Oh, no. That's not it. Maybe I have to get there from the other side? So... Bum, 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 bum. Wouldn't be a JRPG without a good uh, airship exploration fight. Oh no! What is this? 
Oh boy. Um. We're s okay. We for sure got an arms break. This guy. We're gonna start the sword wave. I'm gonna s try wind and see what that does. Yes, let's go. Okay. Do a shielding mazurka here. Yes. Oh, that was that was crucial. <laughs> Let's raise our agility here. Let's swap my girl out. Yes! That ruled. That was really good. Huh. Armor break. I guess we'll shield Mazurkali again. Ow. Boy, I don't want to know what that would have been like without my, my Mazurka. My lovely Mazurka. Let's go sword wave again. Bonk. It's gonna get better every time. Um. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's put some heavy damage on him here. Excellent. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, so this is still a... I, I got a peek at his... Uh, at his life bar there. Yeah, huh. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah! Yo, wiped. Let's go. That ruled. Hello? Sky armors! And even two airships to choose from. Fate's on our side once again. Glenn, you take the Sky Arbor. We will try and locate the Pegasus and the Grand Grimoire with one of the airships. Yes! Ouch! <gasps> oh no! Killian? This is where our paths part, Glenn. You gotta trust me on this. Unhand me right now! You, hands off the princess! Wait, I don't understand! What's the meaning of this, Killian? We take the airship and leave Volandis, together with Lenny. Trust me and come to my side. I'll explain everything later. Do not move. I, will, I like Lenny, but I will not hesitate to harm her. I knew that you could not be trusted. What madness has taken you, Killian? Madness? Do you believe we've all lived this time on my family's money alone? That source dried up a long time ago. I was forced to take a second job as a scout for my benefactor. Who paid you for this? Escania? Gravos? You said you're going to leave Volandis, right? So it was Nabrelia, wasn't it? I received this mission in Torment. As a hostage, she will make sure that less blood will flow in the upcoming war against Nabrelia. How can you betray us? Where are your principles? Don't speak of principles. We've been trying to revive the Band of the Iron Bull for several moons now. How many people have we killed since then? How many people have we killed on this airship alone? We can skip all the bloodshed if we sell her to Nabrelia. How can you be so sure of this? You said yourself that the path we're taking is paved with corpses. There's no other route. Why should it suddenly be so simple? Do you think I'm wrong? Uh, I do, Killian. I can't follow you. There's as much blood on your path as there is on mine. But at least I can walk mine with my head held high. You of all people want to go your own way. You who always held my hand, don't make me laugh. Then go forward with your head held high. But remember that the one who always looks upwards will stumble at some point. Before you know it, you'll be one of the corpses, a part of the pavement. I, on the other hand, will never lose sight of this path. Gillian, enough! 
I told you that I have had enough of being the damsel in distress. This is the end of it. I'm going to murder this pig. We do not have time for that. Glenn, get to the sky armor. Glenn! Oh, man. No more Killian, which stinks. You hear me, Glenn? Apparently these things have radios. I hear you. Not much time to get accustomed to your new gear. Listen, there are several Sky Armors approaching. Don't fly over here. You must take the route through the machine room. Leave the Aurora through the exit south of the elevator. Understood. Killian, why? Zoom in in on Cl Oh! Hello? No! I must focus on the Grand Grimoire. The time has finally come! For heavy metal music! I won't let the events in Wernshire repeat! I will stop the Grand Grimoire! Yo! When calling upon your Sky Armor, it is immediately dropped on your location. Board your Sky Armor by pressing L1. Exit your Sky Armor by pressing R1. Okay. Hover mode and fly mode. In hover mode, your Sky Armor travels on ground level and has similar boundaries as when journeying on foot. However, your Sky Armor can hover over surfaces that are approximately on the same level as the ground. The ocean. Obstacles. In the Aurora's hangar, only hover mode is available. But we'll be able to fly to some cool places later. Entering an encounter while using a Sky Armor triggers a new battle mode. In this mode, there are two big changes. Instead of switching party members, the Sky Armor can now switch gears by pressing R1. Once per turn, a Sky Armor can switch their gear up one level. When switching gears while in gear two, the Sky Armor jumps back to gear zero. Okay. Gear two, you can deal more damage, but you take more damage. But in gear zero, attack, defend, and the use of items restores a huge amount of TP in addition to the actual action. In gear two, your Sky Armors become killing machines, but run out of TP very quickly. Switch into gear zero to restore TP before switching back into gear one to be able to use skills again. Interesting! That's so cool! The cursor starts in the middle. There's now no overdrive area, but instead two overheat zones. You want the cursor to stay out of these areas. Skill types no longer influence the cursor's direction. The direction of the cursor is now determined by the gear the Sky Armor is in. Oh! Interesting. Okay, so you got to move it back and forth. The skills available in battle depend upon the weapon type chosen. Every weapon type comes with its own set of four skills. A Sky Armor can equip a melee weapon and a long range weapon for a total of eight skills. <laughs> Pilot needs to raise their proficiency, winning encounters, and earning SP. Interesting. Yo! Oh, this whips. This is so cool. Oh, man, that rules. That's really, really cool. Okay, hey, next time I'll be plays, we're gonna get, we're gonna get nasty in the sky armor. We're gonna get wild. Uh, and I'm really excited for that. We'll see you then. Bye.